Hey everyone, what is up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com. Today, talking about my flight student pet peeve number 78. When students taxi around the ramp area and there's tie down ropes on the ground and they don't pay attention. So I'm guessing you guys can probably assume where this video is going. This is all part of our series on what is inside of an airplane slash let's destroy an airplane video series here on YouTube, as well as a lot more videos on fly8mikealpha.com. Today, we are talking about what happens when you taxi around the ramp and there is tie down ropes laying on the ground. As we always see ropes coiled up real nicely in the tie down area. And what I often see students do is basically not pay attention. Hey, it's not chocks, they don't care. As long as they're not running over chocks, they don't really care, or sometimes they even run over chocks, but they will go ahead and run right over a tie down rope or worst, put a tie down rope right underneath the propeller and then use a whole bunch of power to try to turn the airplane or move it or do something like that. Let's see how that works out for us. Okay, so obviously propellers, when they're running, tend to suck things up. The more power you use, the more they suck things up. We've done videos where they suck up rocks, where they suck up water into the propeller. And yeah, now we're sucking up ropes into the propeller. So be very, very careful when you're taxiing around a ramp and there's ropes around. Never put the propeller directly over chocks or directly over a rope on the ground. If you are taxiing near ropes or chains or anything, chains typically don't get sucked up in the propeller. I guess they potentially could if they're light enough or the propeller is strong enough. Don't use a lot of power when you're taxiing around these things. Try to come in with just enough energy to keep the airplane rolling and use minimal power. Try to keep the RPM nice and low, as low as possible. If you are taxiing over a rope or better yet, avoid it altogether. Ropes can get pulled up into the propeller. Try to stay away from them. That's a nice short, sweet video today. That's my pet peeve number 78 that students do that just kind of irks me every time. Most of my pet peeves, interestingly enough, occur on the ground, not really in flight. Most things people do in flight, they're just honest mistakes. People doing stuff on the ground, well, it could easily be avoided because we're not really in a rush on the ground and we're not really, you know, stressed out that much flying the airplane. The ground should be an easy time, yet it stresses me out a ton with students. So anyways, guys, like we said, this is all part of our brand new video series, what is inside of an airplane slash let's destroy an airplane as we uh, basically destroy this old Piper Cherokee and talk about what is inside it, all the parts and pieces, explain to you how this entire thing works. If you guys want to check out more, check out the playlist here on YouTube or better yet, head over to flyatmikealpha.com. Lots more videos that are not on YouTube there on the website on flyatmikealpha. And as always, guys, if you cannot fly every day, then flyatmikealpha.com. Watch out for those ropes on the ground. We'll see you all in the next one. A little blue paint there, or a little blue dye, and a little bit of rope on our propeller. So, yeah, taxing around loose ropes. Really bad idea. Always avoid them. Always go over them with minimal power if you have to taxi over one. I don't know why I'm talking right now because it's windy as shit. Can't hear anything I'm saying. Plus, the rope is green. Not blue.